Coming up on this week in Mizzou basketball, the Tigers wrap up non-conference action and begin their trek through the SEC. See how Mizzou's strength coach is helping the young Tigers develop and get a look back at a thrilling Missouri win from 14 years ago. It's all next on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. This Week in Mizzou Basketball is brought to you by Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life. Find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Missouri Orthopedic Institute, we've got your back. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. And your local Trusted Choice Independent Insurance Agent. Visit trustedchoice.com to find an agent in your area. And welcome to another edition of This Week in Mizzou Basketball. Along with head coach Kim Anderson, I'm Ben Arnett. We're ready to take you through every single week as we're into conference play through to the SEC tournament starting with this show. And uh, coach, very, very busy for your team lately. A lot of games since Christmas. And uh, let's start talking about uh, what we've seen the last couple of weeks, starting with the, the Oklahoma State game. And, uh, Growing experience for your team, for sure. Well, it was. You know, we're coming off a, a tough game uh, against Illinois and St. Louis, where we had an opportunity to win. Uh, had a little break for Christmas, which I think was good for our guys. Gave them the opportunity to get home with their families uh, and, and celebrate Christmas, which I don't think in the last couple of years they've had that chance. So, uh, came back and, and uh, went to Kansas City. Great crowd. Uh, really uh, appreciative of all those people that came out and. Uh, Played well against Oklahoma State, and again uh, uh, had an opportunity, I think, in, in, to, to tie the game, to take it into another overtime. Just couldn't get the shot down, but uh, I thought I thought for probably 25 or 30 minutes, it maybe it was one of our best performances of the year. Uh, Oklahoma State's a good team. Uh, I, I knew they'd come back. I hope they wouldn't, but they did. And uh, but I, but again, I think it was a chance for our guys to grow. Uh, came back, played Lipscomb, and uh, didn't play particularly well. Uh, really kind of disappointing at the uh, performance that we we had. But late in the game, with you know eight ten minutes to go, uh, we picked it up and we were able to win. And, you know the interesting I think fact of that game is, is we held them without a field goal for the last nine and a half minutes. So at least says something about our defense. And your your guys get a chance to to have a learning experience where they won. And and how important is is getting W's to maybe the, the psyche, the mental makeup of this young team? Well, it is, it's very important because we had lost two tough games in the last, you know, seconds. And, um, uh, you know, pretty soon it gets harder and harder if you don't win. And uh, so to be able to, to come back against Lipscomb and, and beat them, uh, I think was a big boost for our team. Conference play is here now. We'll talk about that more later in the show, but also the Infinity Coaches Challenge is here, and I know you're doing your best to raise some money. Well, we need everybody to vote, and, uh, uh, you know, if you don't want to vote for me, just vote for my picture. The, the winning coach uh, gets $100,000 donated to the charity of their choice, and our charity is the Boys and Girls Club of Columbia. Uh, they desperately need some facilities, and uh, so we're trying to help them do that. Go to ESPN.com slash infinity to vote. Coach, we'll talk a little bit more later in the show. For now, it's time to catch up on the latest with the Tiger basketball team. A lot of games lately. It's the Bud Light highlight. The Tigers returned to Mizzou Arena to wrap up non-conference play against Lipscomb, and Mizzou got all it could handle from the Bisons. Lipscomb built an 11-point lead, but Missouri ended the first half strong to close the gap. Mizzou trailed by just two at halftime. But the Bisons quickly rebuilt their lead back to double digits early in the second. And once again, the young Tigers responded.
Isabel would finish with 14 points off the bench, and Mizzou was back on a roll. Keanu Post brought even more energy off the bench, finishing with seven points and 10 rebounds. And then Mizzou turned up the heat defensively. Jonathan Williams III finished with a game-high 16 points, and he added 10 rebounds as Mizzou pulled away late and won it by 12. Conference play began at Mizzou Arena with the LSU Tigers, and Jonathan Williams III opened the SEC season with a spark. LSU reeled off an 11-0 run, but Mizzou began a comeback. Naaman Wright's hot shooting got the Tigers back in the ball game, chipping into LSU's 11-point lead. And with the game back in reach, Keanu Post continued his stellar play off the bench. J3's monstrous dunk put Missouri on top for the first time in nearly 13 minutes of game time. LSU quickly responded with a 7-0 run to take the lead right back. But Jakeen and Gant's big slam with less than a minute to play in the first half trimmed Mizzou's halftime deficit to just three points. And the Tigers continued the comeback in the second half. Mizzou and LSU found themselves in a back and forth battle. In this game of runs, LSU ripped off nine straight points to take an eight-point lead, but Mizzou had another response. Keith Hornsby shot right back with a three-pointer of his own to trim Mizzou's lead to just a single point, and the stage was set for a furious final two minutes.
In overtime, Jonathan Williams III continued to shine, first tying the game at 67, and then Cooley stepping to the free throw line with less than two minutes to play to give Mizzou the lead by one. Then the Tigers' zone defense forced LSU out of sorts, and Missouri salted away the game with clutch free throw shooting down the stretch as the Tigers started conference play with a 74-67 win over LSU. This is Matt. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever. I'm on a Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. Shelter insurance has covered a lot of miles and a lot of cars and drivers since 1946. We like knowing we have you covered, so you can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Shelter insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The day after the Tigers win, you can get 50% off your regular menu price order by ordering online at papajohns.com with the promo code TIGERSWIN, only at papajohns.com. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. And joining us this week inside the Edward Jones Tiger Cage is freshman guard Tremaine Isabel. We're recognizing him for his strong play on the court lately. And Everybody's noticed it the last uh, few weeks that uh, something really seems to have clicked for you lately. Uh, what is it that's, that's coming together the last few games? Uh, just confidence and uh, seeing the ball go through the net helps a lot. And uh, I hope to continue that. Have you always been a, a shooter who, who likes to get on a hot streak? Uh, I like to think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, in high school, I shot the ball well. And uh, I mean, I put a lot of time into it. So, uh, I mean, I practice it, so hopefully it uh, happens in the game. You had over 30 points in a state championship game win last year for Garfield High School in Seattle. Can you kind of feel a, a, a big game, a, a game where you're in the zone like that coming on? Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to jinx it, though. I feel like uh, some games I can get pretty hot. And uh, I'm just doing whatever the team wants me to do. If that's scoring or getting assists, it's uh, whatever Coach A wants me to do. This freshman class seems like it's really coming together and you guys seem like a tight knit group. Can you describe the kind of the, the feeling you have with guys like Naaman, and Jakeen and D'Angelo and, and that group of, of, of you that have, that have come in together and are really trying to help turn things around here? Yeah, I mean, we just have a, a pretty good chemistry. You know, we live together, so we see each other all day, every day. And uh, just those, uh, those relationships off the court help on the court. And uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like we're be, we'll be a force in the future. Where do you think this team has really improved, especially in the last two or three weeks? Uh, just uh, playing with emotion, playing not coming out. Well, I mean, we've, we've been coming out flat, but we have looked more energized and like we've been playing harder. And I think we've been playing together more, you know, making an extra pass, 
and uh, doing little things like that. And I think that'll, that'll, that'll help us in the future. As you continue to improve, and, and as I said earlier in the interview, we, you know, fans and, and folks see it every single game, especially with you young guys, the, the incremental improvement. What mm -hmm. kind of player do you want to be? What are your goals this year and moving forward? Well, my goal this year is to just uh, continue to fill my role and do whatever the team needs me to do. Uh, and uh, in the future, I just want to be a, uh, a scoring guard, I mean, a, a point guard that can score and get his team uh, involved. And uh, I think uh, I'm coming along. I think Coach Ace uh, helped me get to that goal. What else are you really looking forward to as we get into conference play here? Uh, just a chance to, you know, like we said, everyone's 0-0 uh, right now, so it's a new season. And I'm just looking forward to see how we uh, how we finish it. And uh, I feel like we're on the right track right now. And uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, where we are in a few weeks. Well, Tremaine, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you. That's Tremaine Isabel in this week's Tiger Cage. A big thanks to our sponsor, Edward Jones, a proud supporter of Mizzou Athletics. For more information, find your nearest Edward Jones financial advisor. Just go to edwardjones.com. And now time for Missouri Orthopedic Institute Player of the Week. And we're honoring this guy right here, freshman guard Tremaine Isabel. Really stepped up off the bench in recent games, including that game-tying three-pointer to force overtime against Oklahoma State. Followed that up with 14 points against Lipscomb. Tremaine Isabel, the Missouri Orthopedic Institute Player of the Week. Missouri Orthopedic Institute, we've got your back. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. I, Jimmy Johnson, <laughs> challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. Are we ready? I'm ready. Jimmy Johnson has dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing through. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a win. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. If your dog can dream it, Purina Pro Plan can help him achieve it. Purina Pro Plan's bioavailable formulas deliver optimal nutrient absorption. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Get any large original or flatbread taco pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. Vote for Coach Anderson in the Infinity Coaches Challenge. If Coach A wins, it means $100,000 for the Boys and Girls Club of Columbia. Vote every day at ESPN.com slash infinity. And welcome back to this week of Mizzou basketball. It certainly is a young Tiger team this season, and that brings several unique challenges. Lauren Holman has more on how the Tiger coaching staff is turning these Tiger Cubs into stars of the future. With five new freshmen and only four returning players who logged minutes last season, the Mizzou coaching staff knew a transition season was coming. A lot of these guys, you know, especially as you can see with our team, need to play immediately and need to have an impact immediately. And so you have to get them ready for the, the grind that is a college season. There's, there's a big difference because at, in high school, you know, recovery is not a big thing. But here, because we're playing so many games, we're practicing every day, lifting, you know, he focuses on recovery a little bit more than actual strength training or building explosiveness. Getting the Tigers' new young core of players ready to compete both physically and mentally is easier said than done. Until they actually get into the fire, you know, it, it's, it's hard for them sometimes, especially as young athletes, to truly grasp what you're trying to tell them. Sophomore guard Wes Clark knows just how hard the transition can be. That's why he helps the freshmen adjust to all the changes. It's just always better to have 
someone that's uh, been through the situation and um, has some experience to uh, guide you. So at times, like I, I may have got lost last second. year. Um, I try to help the young guys avoid some of them situations and uh, make things a little bit easier for them. You know, now there's, there's no mom and dad accountability now. And there's a lot more freedom with these young men. And, and we try to hold them accountable. And I think that's probably one of the most important lessons is because they're, they're now in control a lot more than they've ever been. Caring gets the message across by caring more about the person than the player. He focuses on um, connecting with guys off the court with jokes and stuff like more than just basketball. Of course, naturally, my job is to get them to, to be the best they can be physically and from an athletic performance standpoint, but just trying to teach them those other lessons in life of responsibility, accountability, self-discipline, uh, you know, being humble, uh, trust, how to build relationships, you know, getting, teaching them all of those aspects. A group striving to improve every single day. For This Week in Mizzou Basketball, I'm Lauren Holman. Time for this week's Purina Pro Plan Profile. We focus on someone that Coach Anderson and the Anderson family cat Shady know very well. It's Kim's son, Brett, who's a graduate assistant on the Mizzou coaching staff. Brett graduated from Missouri last spring and immediately went to work for his father, training to be the next Coach Anderson. Graduate assistant Brett Anderson, this week's Purina Profile, brought to you by Purina Pro Plan. If your dog can dream it, Purina Pro Plan can help him achieve it. Purina Pro Plan's bioavailable formulas deliver optimal nutrient absorption. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. The Top 25 is brought to you by Shelter Insurance. For a free auto, home, and life insurance protection review, visit your local shelter agent or find us on the web at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. January 13, 2001 seemed like a normal day at the Hearn Center with Mizzou hosting Iowa State, but by day's end, Tiger fans would be treated to one of the best, if not longest, games of their lives. It might even have been the greatest game ever played inside the Hearn Center. The Tigers battled the 18th ranked Cyclones through the end of regulation. The first overtime didn't produce a winner, and neither did the second or the third. Finally, in the fourth overtime, behind the long-distance magic of Clarence Gilbert and the sheer will of Brian Grower, 
Tigers edge the Cyclones 112 to 109. And we're back to look ahead to the next games and wrap things up with Coach Anderson. Coach, it's time to go on the road in the Southeastern Conference, and it starts Saturday against the Auburn Tigers. Uh, Bruce Pearl back in charge of an SEC team, and I know he's got things going down there on the Plains. A couple of former Division II coaches uh, squaring off in Auburn on Saturday. It'd be a new experience for me, you know. I, I uh, when I was talking with some reporters earlier in the week, you know, we said, "How will it be going on the road in the SEC?" And uh, you know, you kind of sit there thinking, "Well, we're not going to Iowa State, or we're not going to Oklahoma. No, we're going to Auburn, and we're going to Kentucky next week." So. Uh, I'm excited about the challenge. Uh, you know, I know Auburn's got a good basketball team, uh, similar to us, new coach, got some new players. And, uh, and then, of course, after that, going on the road to Kentucky, we all know how good they are. Saturday, 6 p.m. on the SEC Network for the Auburn game. And then Super Tuesday, 8 p.m. next week on uh, ESPN for Kentucky. And just uh, what, what are your thoughts about going to play in, in one of the great college basketball venues in the country in Rep Arena? Well, I'm excited. I've never been there, so uh, it, it's it's exciting for me to be able to coach in that venue, and I think it'll be a great challenge for our team. Obviously, you're going to be playing the number one team in the country. Uh, you know, they, they haven't lost yet, and uh, it'll be a tremendous, tremendous challenge. Got great size, great speed, great athleticism, good shooters. Uh, two platoons they bring in and out. Uh, we're hoping we just have enough players for one platoon because we've got some injuries and stuff. So. Uh, uh, it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting and be a great challenge for our team. What do you generally tell your, your players in, in your career about playing on the road in conference? What kind of mindset does a team have to have to go into another team's building in league? Well, I think you got to be tough. you got to be tough physically and you got to be tough mentally because, you know, when you get on the road, you get the crowd rolling for the other team. Uh, you've got to be able to block that out. And, and uh, you know, we try to create situations like that in practice. We talk about... Uh, how tough you have to be, but until you experience it, uh, you know you don't really know how it's going to be. But you know we've played on the road. You know we played at Oklahoma, and and uh, you know we played in St. Louis against Illinois, even though that was a 50-50 crowd. And of course, the Kansas City crowd was mostly ours. Uh, but we've played in big arenas. We've played in front of big crowds. So uh, you know, hopefully, our, hopefully our mental mindset will be tough enough to overcome what will be, I, I know, a tremendous crowd in Lexington. Coach, thanks, and good luck on the road. All right, thanks, Ben. That's head coach Kim Anderson, and I'm Ben Arnett. For our entire Mizzou Network crew, we'll see you next week on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. This Week in Mizzou Basketball was brought to you by Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life, find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Casey's General Store, Casey's, famous for pizza, Missouri Orthopedic Institute, we've got your back, and your local Trusted Choice independent insurance agent. Visit TrustedChoice.com to find an agent in your area.